Okay, let's move on now. The way that we watch football has changed dramatically in the last few years. We can now watch from more angles and on more devices than ever before. But Paul Carter has been checking out a new camera system which could give football fans a totally new perspective on the action. In a previous episode of the show, we saw how the emerging technology of volumetric filming was being used by movie studios to shoot films in a whole new way. This system, developed by Intel, uses a series of cameras to create three-dimensional images of a set, but now it's seeing new applications in the world of sport. I'm here at the Emirates Stadium, home of Arsenal Football Club, the first Premier League team to use a revolutionary new technology that could change the way we watch the beautiful game in the future. As well as Arsenal, the Intel TrueView system has been installed at two other Premier League clubs, Champions League finalists Liverpool and the newly crowned Premier League champions Manchester City. In the past, a traditionally a camera would show you one point of view. What we can actually do is enable multiple cameras to consist of one frame and one shot that shows you a 360 degree angle, showing you all those plays of, well, did he touch, did he not touch? I'd like to see it from the other side. So now we can deliver that story to you. It consists of 38 5K cameras installed at fixed points around each stadium, which feed content into a dedicated control room. In this control room, an operator and producer can recreate match action in 3D and using some serious processing power can allow replays to simulate the perspective from any point or player on the pitch. Imagine that if you would be filming me now in volumetric, I would not just be a two-dimensional image as people are now experiencing at home, but I'm actually build up of hundreds of thousands and millions of three-dimensional pixels. So what do the clubs get out of it? It starts to merge that space between that passive sports viewing experience that we're all used to and that kind of active esports and gaming experience that people are used to. It has the ability to really um, provide a properly and truly immersive experience for our audience. So um, the ability for them to feel, see, experience what it's like to be Sergio Aguero scoring a goal at the weekend at the Etihad, um, we think is, is a truly compelling proposition. Although clearly in its relative infancy in sport, the potential for this technology is plain to see. With increased connectivity and cloud-based processing, could we see fewer people paying for tickets to attend matches in person? When this stadium is full, this stadium is noisy. You get the smells, you get to spot what the people on the other side are doing, you get to follow the, you get to watch the left back if you want to watch the left back. You know, there is an experience here that you will never be able to convey um, uh, on a TV screen or on, on, a, on a, a tablet or whatever. I think what we're trying to do with things like the Intel tech though is get that experience as close as possible.